We will want the definition of an orthogonal space, even if we don't have much to say about it at this moment. We've defined orthogonality between two vectors. Now we'll say that a vector is orthogonal to a space if and only if it is orthogonal to every vector in the space. And I know I kind of stated this as a theorem. It's really a definition. And now a second definition, the orthogonal complement of a vector space W is all the vectors orthogonal to W and it's written like this. So as an example, suppose we think of this three-dimensional space as being R3. The vectors contained in a plane, the vectors on this page, form a subspace of R3 and the orthogonal complement of that subspace is all the vectors that hit this page at a 90 degree angle. Let's state a theorem. A vector space is going to have infinitely many vectors in it. So it's not as if you can manually check whether a vector is orthogonal to all of them. Fortunately, we don't have to. Let B be a basis of W. Then a vector V is in the orthogonal complement of W if and only if it is orthogonal to all the basis vectors in B.
So just as a quick example of this theorem, let W be the set of all vectors in R3 such that the third component of W is zero. So A and B are arbitrary real numbers, but the third component is zero. A basis of W is given by the vectors one, zero, zero, and zero, one, zero. And we make the claim that the vector zero, zero, one is in the orthogonal complement of W. To verify this claim, you only have to check two dot products. The dot product with the first basis vector is indeed zero, and the dot product with the second basis vector is also zero. And now we can apply this theorem. In this video, we defined orthogonal complements. We will continue to discuss orthogonality throughout much of the rest of this course.